Now in 5.2, we started looking at something called combining like terms, and we watched a video about someone placing an order at a fast food restaurant. And the video starts off with someone saying, um, and they come up to the counter and they order and they say, well, I want one burger and two burgers and four burgers and one burger and five burgers. And we talked about how that's not efficient because you should just combine all of the things that are the same to say, I want six burgers. So in our case, we gave all of these pictures a variable. So now we see this, this is a burger and it's got one patty right there. So I'm going to call this B, and the exponent is going to be 1 because it's only got one patty. Okay, so I don't even have to write that. Now this burger, if you notice, this one actually has one, two patties. So it's still a burger, but it's got two patties. Now here we have some fries. So it's going to be a different variable. It's F for fries because there's something different. And if we go down here, I have a soda, so I'm going to call it S and it's a small soda, and then medium soda I'm going to call S squared because it's, it's still a soda, but it's a little bit different than just a small soda. So I want to identify them differently. And then what we said is if I had an order and I said, okay, I would like one burger, I want two fries, I want one fries, I want one burger with two patties, I want one burger with two patties and one fries. If this was my order, all right, we would go back to our pictures and we think, okay, well, I have one burger. And then we just look to combine things that are the same. So one burger, uh, this is a burger, but this burger has two patties. So they're not the same thing. Okay, so we have one burger. We have two fries. So we have two fries. We have one fries, so we have one fries. And now these ones, I'm going to leave them there just so it's not confusing, but you don't have to put the one there. It's just assumed that it's there. Here we got one burger, but with two patties. So it is a burger, two patties. Again, we have one burger with two patties. And then we have one fries. And now what we talked about is when we write this equation, and we look at it, when we were ordering this, we would want to combine things to make it a bit easier for my order. So if I write this out as an equation, one burger plus two fries plus one fries plus one burger, two patties, plus one burger, two patties, plus one fries, how would we simplify this equation? Well, we'd say, okay, this one burger with one patty, I have to find any other orders of a burger with one patty. So I check, this is fries, this is fries, this is a burger with two patties. And we talk about, well, that's not the same thing. A burger with one patty and a burger with two patties are different from each other, right? I wouldn't be, if I ordered a burger with two patties, I wouldn't be happy if I got one with one. So they're not the same thing. We can't put them together. This is a burger with two patties, not the same thing. This is fries. So right now we just have one burger so far in our order. And what happens is once I've acknowledged that I've used it, I'm going to cross it out because I know, okay, I'm done with it. So now I move on to the fries. I have two fries and I'm going to look for any other fries that were ordered. Oh, I have another fries here. Uh, that's burger with two patties, two burger with two patties. Oh, and I have another fries here. So in total, I have two fries, one fry, and one fry. So in total, I have four fries. Now I'm done with those. And then finally, we have our final one. We got a burger with two patty and another burger with two patties. Those are the same thing. So when I add those to my equation, I'm going to have two burgers with two patties. And now this would be a fully simplified expression of my order. That would be the most efficient. So now we're going to do the exact same thing, except they're not going to be burgers anymore. They're going to be numbers. And we're going to use the same sort of thinking to solve our question. So let's say we have two 
x squared plus 3 plus 5x minus x squared plus 4 minus 2x. And you're asked to simplify. So all this means is we're going to combine things that are the same that are gonna be the same type of order. We're gonna make our order more efficient. And so what I start off is I'm gonna box out the first term that I have in my polynomial, and I'm gonna find terms that are the same as that. So in this case, I have two burgers with two patties. So I am looking for any other order of a burger with two patties. So this one doesn't work. This one, that's it's, this one's a burger, but it doesn't have two patties. We talked about how that's not the same thing. Now here, I do have a burger with two patties. And what we wanna make sure we do is we take the sign that's in front of it because that's gonna give us information about it. Now I specifically picked this one because it's a bit tricky. There's no number in front of the x squared. Well, that doesn't matter. Remember we talked about these little silent ones being there? There's a there's an um, invisible one there, and we just don't want to write it, but it'll help us when we're solving. So we have 2 minus 1. Well, 2 minus 1 is 1. That means we have 1, and then we've got its burger with two patties. So once we've actually used up, we've counted it up, and we've combined the number, all we do is we follow it with whatever that variable was that they had in common. When I'm done, I cross it out to make sure I don't miss any terms, and I move on to the next one. The next one in this case, remember, I make sure I take the sign in front of it as I go. That's so either it's plus or minus or positive or negative. So this is plus 3. It is not attached to a variable, so I'm going to look for any number that doesn't have a variable. Oh, and I have one right here, and I make sure I take the sign in front of it. So I have plus 3 plus 4. Well, if I put that together, plus 3 plus 4 is plus 7. And now I'm done with these two terms. And then I move on, and I move on to 5x, or a burger with one patty, and I take the sign in front. And then I find that I actually have another burger with one patty, and I make sure that I take the sign in front of it. So now we have plus 5 minus 2. Plus 5 minus 2 is going to be plus 3 and it's a burger with one patty, so we follow with that. And now this is our final simplified equation. The only other thing is we don't actually have to write a one. Ones are unnecessary. If we don't need to, we don't write them. And we did talk about how the proper way to write an expression is we want to write it from highest exponent to lowest exponent. That's the best way to write our um, fully simplified polynomials. Now, we did do one more question that was a little bit more challenging. Let's say I have x squared y, 2x squared y, minus 3xy, plus 5yx, minus 3y squared x. So this one's a little bit more challenging, but really the same principles apply. So I start with this very first one, take the sign in front of it, and what it's saying is I have two x's, and I have one y. So that is all I'm looking for. I'm looking for an x, there are two x's and one y. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna start my search. This one has one x and one y, so that doesn't work, that's not the same. This one has one y, one x, doesn't work. This one has two y's and one x, that's also not the same thing. So we can't actually combine this one with anything. So our expression starts as two x squared y, because that's it. And then the next one I'm going to go to is this one and make sure I take the sign in front of it, so the minus. And I'm looking for 1x and 1y. Well, this one here, there's 1x and 1y. They're in different order. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, we talked about if I have BC, and let's say that's a burger with cheese, that's the same thing as a cheese burger, right? It's going to be the exact same type of burger. It's still going to be a burger with cheese. It's still going to be a cheeseburger. They're the same. It doesn't matter what the order is, as long as you have one of each. So I can actually combine these because these are like terms. Minus 3 plus 5 is plus 2. 
And then I have x, y. I could have also written it as y, x. We just try to write our um, algebra alphabetically. These two are done. And then all that I have left is this final term, and that would be my fully simplified 